Microbes are microscopic organisms that belong to groups such as fungi and bacteria. They are the most numerous organisms on Earth and are sometimes referred to as germs. They can live everywhere, from air, soil, vegetation, and water to the human body. Microbes play an important role in almost everything, including leaf decomposition. During decomposition, microbes break through the leaf cuticle and traverse the interstitial space on their way to the cell wall. Microbes find food by releasing a small number of enzymes that break down complex compounds, like cellulose, into simpler ones, such as glucose, that can then be consumed. An increase in the concentration of these simple compounds tells the microbes to produce more of the needed enzymes for more release. The three main structural components of a leaf that microbes break down are cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Microbes attack these high-energy foods, such as cellulose and hemicellulose, first. Lignin is a low-energy food, which shields cellulose and hemicellulose. Microbes only attack lignin as a last resort to get the protected high-energy food. There are two methods enzymes use to break down large, complex compounds into simpler, smaller ones that they can eat. One is the lock and key method, which is used to break down cellulose and hemicellulose molecules, which are chains of sugars, into single sugars that can be consumed. In this process, the enzyme is the key. The key fits the lock on the matching substrate molecule and causes a break in the chain. Some enzymes use this method to break a long chain in the middle to create shorter chains. Other enzymes clip off the ends to release individual sugars. Typically, multiple enzymes are packaged together into a complex scaffold. The scaffold organizes the enzymes that break bonds on both the ends and the center of the chain. To completely break down the chain, the scaffold slides up and down the chain and takes it apart. The other way enzymes break down complex compounds is by oxidation. This process is used to break down lignin. Lignin has a random structure. Every molecule is different, so the lock and key method does not work. Also, it takes a lot of energy to break down lignin, which is a very stable molecule. Because of this, enzymes do not have enough energy to attack lignin directly. Instead, enzymes attack other molecules that create free radicals, which are highly reactive compounds. These free radicals then react with the lignin and break it down. Once the lignin is removed in this way, the cellulose and hemicellulose that was encased by the lignin is available for decomposition. As microbes consume these foods, they are releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere through the process of respiration. Scientists need to understand how leaves decay and what influences how fast this process occurs so that they can predict how much carbon dioxide will be produced during decomposition.